The other day I was asked about how I could have an open wood chip feed tube when I'm using um, forced air combustion. Um, and that's a good question because when you push air into the combustion chamber, the pressure inside is higher than atmosphere, and so air would normally want to run out the wood chip inlet feed tube if it's just opened the atmosphere. So right now we're looking down the throat of the wood chip feed tube, and every now and then you can see some wood chips drop in. And what I wanted to demonstrate, and I'll show you how I do it in a sec, but um, if I change, what I have is a separate blower that blows air in through the feed tube. If I block that air, then the flame wants to come up the feed tube. And the response is pretty immediate. Maybe a little hard to see. But those are flames coming up through the feed tube. doing when I do that, I don't know if I can show this and shoot it and everything, but basically I put a piece of tape across, and if I block the air, um, the fire responds. Now, of course, I don't know if you can see the sparks coming up the feed tube or not. That's exactly what you don't want to have happen. And this arrangement is, for that reason, kind of dangerous. If you blow sparks up into the feed tube, um, you'd have a fire in your chip, wood chip bin. Ultimately, the system will change, and I'll use negative pressure inside. And what I'll do is, over the top of the barrel, I'll put an upper section so that it's pulling air out of the top of the heat exchanger and then that will suck air into the burner. And then once I'm doing that I won't need the main blower, which is down there, blowing air into, let's see if I can see it. Yeah, there's the bottom of the burner barrel and the air inlet tube. There's a little small computer muffin fan, but then there's this big blower with a gap between the two, and I just kind of adjust the gap until I get the pressure that I want inside. So that's the positive pressure, and then I need to balance that with the second blower up here blowing in the feed tube. So what I did is basically what I was doing with my hand of partially covering this but doing it with a piece of uh, tape and then when I got the air to where it was all was blowing into the burner yet not, not too much so. In other words, enough pressure to balance the internal pressure and a little bit more so that air is going in at all times, but not a lot more because you want to get just the right amount of air. So as it is now, you can see that the wood chips are falling in and then they kind of slough down into the center where the combustion is sitting here they get preheated and then ignite and if you watch this over a long period of time you'll notice that they're sliding down into the center as they turn into ash and then I pull them out of the bottom on the center so 
that's how I handle um, the positive pressure. And again, I'll cover the tube and you can see that immediately, yeah, there you can see the sparks coming up. So if I there go a bunch, I cover it, there's sparks, take it off, and go back down. So there's a um, real quick transition between the two. And that's how I do it.